Hey, what up, Internet people? As you can tell, I have my 360 mic. I'm using it as my actual mic because, yes, I am ghetto and my webcam mic sucks. But other than that, sorry about the long delay. Um, for starters, uh, I'm going to go into functions. I was thinking about not doing going into them and start doing uh, other stuff like the conditionals, if statements, uh, while, for loops, do loops, explaining some of those. But I'd rather decide to go into that a little bit later. So let's get started with... All right, let's get started. Okay, so right now um, we have our main function, int main void, of course. Um, for functions, it's tricky. Uh, you have to declare it before the initial function that you're working in, like main, of course. So if we're going to say add one, so int add one, int x right here, then we can say this. Uh, since this is an integer function, so it default says, hey, you got to return an int, because we're not saying void, return x, and we'll say x plus plus, since we're just adding 1. All right, so, of course, we have to say int x equals 0, and then print f, uh, percent i, of course, and then we'll say add one x right there. There we go. That would uh, increment x plus one. But doing all of this and having main at the very bottom is very, very horrible in my opinion. Uh, I don't like it one bit. Um, there's some other ways to do it. Like for instance, um, let me let me go through this one thing. All right. Whenever your program starts, it says, okay, int add one int x. Okay, cool. I found it. Um, it's an int uh, function that has an integer for the x, for the input value. Okay. So whenever it hits add one, it knows exactly where to find it. Okay. Because once it hits main, it starts running the program. It doesn't try to find your function at the bottom. It's It guesses where it is. And, um, and if you don't have it declared before, your, your program is running, it's going to default to an integer type. So if we have it down here, like right here, it'll say, it'll give me a warning and it says uh, default function returns to int, defaults to int, I mean. So you want to kind of avoid that because if you, like, say it's a double and the int that you're passing in is also a double. You don't you, you don't want it to default to an int, or it'll give you corruption. And it'll give you error because you're passing a double to an int. Um, so of course, there's a way to go about this. You declare it before main. Of course, you say int add one int x, right? This declares it beforehand. So it says, hey, if you find this function right here, add one, it's an integer function. Uh, the, in the input is also going to be an int, but it also returns an int, of course. Um, so when you find it down below your main, uh, don't try to make it default to int, because you already know what it is. All right, that's one way. But let's say you have a huge program and uh, you have all these functions at the top, and they just and your main gets piled still down way below than what you need. Uh, then there's also another way to do it. So we get int add one and x, of course. So second off, we can create a header file. So I've already made one up here. So we got number include. And include to include the header file, you don't use these brackets. You use these because it says, hey, it's in the same uh, function, uh, in the same path as the main the same file so you don't have to go all the way over to sig ones libraries and look for it so st uh, all right sorry <laughs> it's going to be header.h right here so when the program starts it goes finds the regular standard io um, std io and then it goes in and finds the header.h which is right here which is what i made here, don't worry about that. Okay. So when you run this, it'll say, hey, uh, I got the header. I'm going to go to the header first. Okay, I found my function that's already specified, so I don't have to default to int each time. 
so let's save it and click run alrighty it compiled finally and main of course wow it worked it made z x zero and made it one so it works out fine um, if you want to do multiples uh, throw in multiples you can say int y also along with your header you also have to do int y um, if you don't specify it in your header it's not going to match with this and if you don't have and if you don't have int y right here but you got it up here it's still going to say uh, warning or error um, function takes two input values not just one kind of deal so but um, but what if you want to change your value right if you want to change two of them like like you want you want to add x and y together in one function not just uh, not say int x in one function and int x int y in another um, I'm not going to go over it right now uh, I'm going to go over it later on like when I'm going to start talking about arrays and memory allocation which um, is going to be about two more ahead of this uh, next next episode we're going to do uh, do loops while loops uh, the conditionals of course um, but other than that that's basically it for today